Hey Breakers, what's going on today? I'm going to break down real quick, no pun intended, what exactly synthesis entails. So synthesis is a process to strengthen Gumpla parts, whether it be strengthened through their raw level, which increases their stats, or their rarity, which increases the slots of abilities you can acquire, as well as potentially master the skill. Let's use this Grimoire Red Beret head as an example. We're going to start with basic synthesize. First way you can do it is by feeding a similar slot item to it. Let's say I want to throw in to this level one, this, uh, well, let's see what's a good target here. Yeah, level six, Wing Gundam Zero Endless Waltz. As you see, due to the level difference, my Red Beret head will gain some XP and boost up to level 2, 2 and 3 quarters to be exact. And as well, it has the ability to take traits off of that wing head and add it to its own. Because it's just rarity 1, 1 star, it only has 2 slots or traits. So when synthesizing with traits I don't already have, I'll have to pick and choose which ones I want to keep on the head. I can replace anything that I have from the other part, or keep what I have and just synthesize it up for easy XP. Uh, sometimes this is the easier way to level parts for credit-wise, seeing as it only costs you one to do so, 100 GP to do so. If I were to do a part with more passive skills on it, I have my choice of what passive skills to put on. If I want to select multiple parts with multiple passive skills, it will absorb the XP of all of them, and I would have the whole list to work with. Skills that are the same. For example, let's find an HP capacity. Right here on Chaos Head. As you can see, currently the HP capacity in Grimoire Red Beret is level 1. It has 1% extra HP. If I were to add this Chaos Head, HP Capacity is not actually listed as a passable trait because it gets added directly to the existing. HP Capacity in the end is now going to be level 10, adding 3% HP. Like traits are added together and leveled as you go. So you can keep stacking the same trait dropped to get some really high values out of it. The second way you can do Synthesis Fusion is instead of using individual parts, you can use plastic. Now, plastic will start dropping as soon as you actually unlock synthesis, uh, chapter three or four, and there's two types of plastic that drops. Part enhance, that feeds experience to the part and can raise the parts level. Our parts evolve, that raises the parts rarity. And of course, with each level of rarity, you unlock another slot for passive skills. Or when brought up to a full six star, allows you to master any skills on the part itself, making them a master skill, whether they are EX, Option, or Burst, and letting any Gumpla use them at any time, regardless of the equipped parts. Now, using this plastic is costly, you can see it's quite a bit of uh, GP out of my meager wallet. I've been spending a lot of it on leveling. And it goes exponentially up to the quality of the plastic. That's why I say sometimes you might be better off. Let's sort by level here real quick. You might be better off feeding a higher level head than you are using an equivalent amount of plastic. Costs you less in the long run. The second form of synthesis is derivation synthesis. This is a way to acquire different parts you might not have by transforming a part you already own. Let's take our friend Gun Cannon for example. Every part is going to have its own recipe and derivation paths. Gun Cannon Head can turn into Gundam, Full Armor Gundam Thunderbolt, or GM. It will retain the same level and the same traits, 
but become that different head instead. To do this, you need to feed it another specific kind of food. In this case, if I want to make it Gundam, I will need to feed it either Fulumar Thunderbolt or Gun Tank. If I want to feed it, or if I want to turn it into Thunderbolt, I need to feed it G3. If I want to turn it into a gym, I need to feed it Gundam. Most of these are kind of logical steps. Some of them don't make as much sense. But every single part should have some kind of recipe to follow. Double Diver. Apparently it doesn't have any. It's the end of the line. <laughs> uh, but Gundam Age 1. Could be converted into Age 2 normal, Age 3 normal, a Gaffrin, a Beginning 30, or Legolas. Beginning 30 would take V2. Legolas would take Gaffrin, which I think is poetically amazing, combining a an Age Gundam with a Vagan design. Age 3 normal requires Age 2 normal. Age 2 normal requires Banning 30. This is perfect for trying to snipe a specific related part with specific traits or level without having to go out and try to be at the mercy of RNG. It also lets you get things in certain sizes that you probably shouldn't be able to. A good example is there is no high-grade Faz available in-game. They're all master-grade. But if I were to, example, take a double Zeta head, or rather, in this case, a Sentinel head, at high-grade, and derivation synthesis into Faz by feeding it Zeta Plus parts, I can acquire a high-grade Faz head for that different scale difference I'm looking for, even though it's not a kit that exists in-game. Helps for kits you also can't buy in the shop. Another good example of this would be Hyakushiki J, the Jaeger variant that we all know Mr. Gumpla used in his youth and became famous for. Let's say you have been incredibly unlucky with farming those J parts, and you can't buy it from the shop because it's not a real kit and it doesn't have box art. You can take a Yakushiki part, like say this torso. You can choose to drive it into a Shiki J by adding any break DS part. Now, the parts you're feeding into this will not transfer over any of their XP, so it's best to use the lowest level, most expendable one you have. But it's an easy way to turn that Yakushiki into a Shiki J, or vice versa. Shiki J can go back to regular Shiki. Each one of these has their own recipes. They can't turn into anything. Some of these can't turn into anything. They're development dead ends. But most of them are logical and interesting tech paths. And that's more or less the lowdown on synthesis and derivation synthesis. Hopefully this helps clear up a lot of confusion involving the systems. Ray John Breakers. Didn't I ever tell you? Join Discord.